The 2016 Presidential Election, Republican Party Delegates, presented by the Citizen Genius Project. The Republican Party is led by the Republican National Committee, which makes the rules for its presidential nomination process. The 2016 Republican presidential nominee will be officially selected at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. There will be a total of 2,472 delegates at the convention who select the party's nominee for president. This person needs to win support from a majority of the delegates, which is at least 1,237 delegates. As a quick side note, this video discusses several topics that are more fully explained in other videos. The RNC distributes the 2,472 delegates among the 50 states, Washington, D.C., and U.S. territories. To keep the terminology simple, going forward I'll just say states unless otherwise specified. The RNC gives states a great deal of freedom in making rules for the delegate allocation process. This video gives an overview of the main points and commonalities without going into all the details of each state's unique provisions. The RNC gives states three types of delegates, congressional district delegates, at-large delegates, and RNC member delegates. Each state gets three delegates for each congressional district it has, which means states with greater populations, and therefore more congressional districts, get more of these delegates. Each of the 50 states has at least 10 at-large delegates and they can receive more bonus at-large delegates if they have a Republican governor, senator, representative, a majority in a chamber of the state legislature, and if the state voted for the Republican nominee in the previous presidential election. Each state gets three RNC member delegates. These are each state's National Committee man, National Committee woman, and state chair. Most states allow these delegates to be unbound, meaning they can support any candidate they choose. The RNC gives states the ability to decide how candidates win the delegates. Therefore, some states hold primary elections, some hold caucuses, and a few just hold statewide conventions. In any system, most states require the delegates selected to be bound to a particular candidate, meaning they must support that candidate at the national convention. To decide which candidate or candidates wins delegates, states can decide to use a proportional system, a winner-take-all system, or a hybrid system. In a proportional system, each candidate receives a portion of a state's delegates based on the percentage support he or she receives in the state's primary election, caucuses, or convention. States that hold primaries from March 1st through 14th must allocate their delegates with this type of system. In a winner-take-all system, the candidate who receives the most votes wins all the delegates. There are numerous hybrid systems that include variations of the proportional and winner-take-all systems. I'll give just two examples. A state may use a proportional system with a trigger, meaning the delegate allocation will change from a proportional to a winner-take-all system if a candidate receives a majority of votes. Or a state may use a winner-take-all system such that candidates can win congressional district delegates based on the results in each congressional district, while the at-large delegates, and even RNC member delegates, are allocated based on the statewide results. The RNC doesn't have specific rules about who must be part of a state's delegation, but it has said that a state should endeavor to have equal representation of men and women in its delegation to the Republican National Convention. In short, people in each state participate in primary elections, caucuses, and conventions to select most of the delegates. Then those delegates, and the unbound RNC member delegates, go to the Republican National Convention and select the party's nominee. The candidate who receives a majority of votes becomes the Republican nominee for president. If no candidate receives a majority, the delegates become unbound and therefore free to vote for any candidate. The delegates continue voting and negotiating until a candidate receives a majority. After the Republican Party's presidential candidate is chosen, 
he or she moves on to the general election. This has been a short overview of the 2016 presidential election, Republican Party Delegates, presented by the Citizen Genius Project.